Hi guys, it's Stacy from Starfish Therapies and my helper Jace is right over here. Um, so we wanted to talk a little bit about reaching today. Um, we've talked about it before here, but, oh, he wants to help. <laughs> um, we've talked about it before here, but I wanted to talk about why, so how reaching develops and then in the Otteru, how you can support it. So reaching, when babies are born, they have a grasping reflex. So if you put something like your finger in their hand, they'll grab it. It's very adorable. Um, so you can use that for little things like um, O balls, which of course I just went searching for ours. And you know, anybody else have this where you trip over something all the time until you actually need it and then you can't find it. But I'll link it here just so you can see what I'm talking about. I love the O ball because it has little holes and they can like get their fingers around it. It also usually can rattle a little bit if they shake it. Um, so it's nice feedback. But so they initially start with a grasp and then um, if they're laying on their back, um, you're gonna see them maybe trying to bring their hands to their mouth. That's the start of bringing hands to midline, um, which is what we want. We want them to be able to bring their hands to midline and then to be able to cross midline. Um, and this all develops as they develop strength. But think about it, they come out, they're on their back, like this is really hard to lift up here. <laughs> um, so you might start with seeing them get their hands to their chest together first or to their mouth because they don't have to reach up against gravity. Um, you can also use, oh, hi. You can use a boppy to help. So like if you have them supported up like this, it's making it a little, e pretend he's a little baby. It's making it a little easier against gravity and it's supporting their shoulders so it makes it easier to reach for things. Um, this is also why with those activity gyms, there's things that are dangling. Um, I like to lower them a lot um, so that if they have accidental swipes, they get feedback from it and then it encourages them to try to purposely reach more. And that's where we're going to go with the Otteru. So in the Otteru, we talked before about having something like this that can suction cup to the side of the tub. And as they're floating around, they bump against it um, with their hand or their foot. They notice a feedback. So it's going to encourage them to try again. And you're not going to see it immediately. It's not like they're going to bump against it and be like, oh, let me reach and do that. No, but they're going to kind of maybe flail their arms a little bit more to see if they can get the same thing to happen. And all that practice leads to refinement of the skill. Um, also like the O ball that I talked about. So if you get it, um, you can give it to them in the water too. And they may end up getting both hands here because they're getting the support of the water. So it makes it easier for them to move those arms against gravity because they're getting some of the buoyancy of the water. Um, ha, 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 ha. The other thing you can do is work on lying on the side. Lying on the side. So pretend he's a little baby also. When you're lying on the side, you can have toys like this or the O-ball. But look at how gravity helps the hands come together. So it's automatically encouraging that midline hand position. Um, same thing in the Otteru as we were talking about. As they're moving more and more and start to learn how to roll, all of a sudden now they may roll part way. Well, now they're in side lying and then come back. But especially if they get a hold of something, um, that is early development of reaching and coming to midline. Um, also, like say you have this on the side of the tub and they've been hitting it with the hand that's, you know, closest to it. Well, now they try to roll a little bit and they get it with this hand. That's early starting reaching across midline. So. I'm a big fan of setting up your environment to encourage skill. So it's not always like a, oh, we're gonna bat at this 10 times. It's we're gonna create the opportunity for our little ones to explore the movement and develop the skills because they are naturally having that opportunity. Um, I hope that all makes sense. Please don't hesitate to let me know if you have any questions. And yeah. Uh, I enjoy hanging out with you guys. Come hang out with us at Starfish Therapies.